Well, I think this Petraeus case really shows how even the CIA director, let alone the rest of us mere mortals, um, when we're going about our online communications that we think are very private and intimate and none of the government's business, um, can be lulled into a false sense of, of privacy and security, um, even if we think we're taking some measures to, to be private. Um, and the reality is that if Petraeus and Broadwell had been sending letters through the U.S. Post from locations as they traveled without their return address on it to each other using pseudonyms, this never would have come to light. The reality is, is that your physical mail is protected under the Fourth Amendment. In, in a way, the silver lining of this entire sordid incident um, may be legal reform. And as it so happens over the past couple of years, there have been, there's been a movement among civil liberties groups and actually a lot of companies to change the law, to bring the Fourth Amendment into line with the digital age. And there's something called the Digital Due Process Coalition that's been working with Congress very directly to try and amend the law. Uh, and there's also another coalition called Vanishing Rights, or at, at this website called vanishingrights.com, that's trying to get people to write their Congress people and senators um, to get the law changed and, and to have more of a grassroots movement. But it's also just important that we educate ourselves about the extent to which our movements and data about us is being tracked. And you know, one of the problems with Gmail is that it's tracking your location and it's, it's not encrypting your communications. Um, and if, you're, if you've really got something to hide, <laughs> uh, if you're engaging in sensitive behavior, and I'm not even just talking about criminal behavior here, I'm talking about if you're a dissident, uh, if you're, it, perhaps if you're a whistleblower <laughs> who uh, may be whistleblowing on the FBI, um, you, uh, you really need to understand just how easily you can be traced. And actually, I spend a lot of time with political dissidents and investigative journalists who work around the world, and there are actually training courses about kind of what tools you can use. There's something called Tor, which helps you basically obscure your IP address, which had Broadwell and Petraeus been using, they would not have been traceable from you know, what locations they, they were writing from, which was one, which was the main way that Broadwell got identified. Um, and if you use something called PGP with your email, you can encrypt the content of your email uh, so, so that even Gmail itself, the company, would not be able to see the contents of your email. So there are things you can do um, to be less trackable um, and, and to protect your privacy. But it takes a lot of effort, and it, it appears that the CIA director was not even up on a lot of these techniques.